Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can set a change log to prevent making changes to an SAP query. And to do this, it's kind of like easy. First of all, you have to go in the section SQ01 into your SAP query. So uh, select it and then go into the change mode. And here you have the checkbox change log. And if you set the change log, then just the person or the SAP user that has initially set this change log can make any changes to the SAP query and the other SAP users don't have the ability to make any changes to the SAP query itself. So if we had to have one help, and then you get uh, the detailed description of this checkbox as I have explained it to you. And because of that, I have already set the change log. So go back and here I am logged into the SAP system with another user. And if I now go into the SQ01, select the set underscore test SAP query and try to make any changes. So I click on the change button and then I will get the error message query locked by user Andreas G against changes. So this is the user Andreas G on the left hand side. And yeah, of course, if I go now once again into the change mode, I remove the checkbox, change lock, hit the save button, go out of it. And now I hit the change button. Then you can see that changes are possible right now. So going out once again, as you might have seen, how can you remove the change lock? So the easiest way, as you might have seen, is that the SAP user, it itself so we'll go into transaction code sq01 select the sap query go into the change mode and then remove the selection of this checkbox as i have done this in a couple of seconds ago but for some kind of reason so i will set this um the sap user or the person of the sap user can't log into the SAP system is not available because the person uh, has removed the company whatever for whatever reason and the SAP user can't be used. Then there's also one possibility how another SAP user can remove the checkbox without going into the SQ01 because obviously if we go into the change mode that is not possible. And to do this you have to go into the transaction SQ02 to basically make changes to the info set. And before going into this you have to get to know what basically the info set is. So in the SQ01 here you can see that this is also set underscore test or you can also go into the description and here you have also the information set underscore test so this is basically what we need so i will uh, copy this with control y and then control c because that is what we're going to need then i go into the transaction code sq02 and then basically uh, you can paste within here with control V to your info set or you can search it within the ALV grid control down here. What do you prefer, what do you like to. And then it's important that you go to uh, go to and then query directory. And then this report will open up the directory of queries here right now you have also the possibility to change the info set if you have any typo whatever reason or within here you can also paste in your copied info set with control v and now it's important that you select only queries with change log because basically that is what we're going to need we only would like to select the queries with the change log because if you would not um, select this checkbox then all the queries will be listed corresponding to your selection criteria and then you have to execute this report so hit the f8 key or this button and then you have to select the entry and then you basically have to uh, click the button cancel added lock or shift f6 so and then 
nothing happens right now but if we go once again into the change mode then you can see that the checkbox change log has been removed i don't do anything right now and with the another user if we go once again into the sq01 into this as a pick query we are now able to go into the change mode and make any changes to the sap query um, so yeah thank you so much for watching if you have any questions left please put them in the comment sections and see you in the next video